So, Dragon Age, the Veil Guard. Still outside Steam's top 50 bestsellers, with just over two weeks until release. So, people still are not interested in this game. Whether it be there's no marketing behind it, or the marketing is terrible, or just the fact that people may not be able to feel represented uh, because of the... Um, limited customizations for certain features whatever the thing is uh people are not pre-ordering this uh like other games and of course it, when it, when it fails it's going to be uh the alt rights problem it's going to be all those pesky donald trump supporters somehow they have all the power to do this it's they're going to come out and say oh it's a bunch of phobes this and isms the people who voted for donald trump and his supporters it's you really think Donald Trump supporters have that much influence? Come on. Come on. Uh, BioWare's upcoming Dragon Age to Fail Guard still remains outside Steam's top 50 bestsellers as the game releases in just under in just over two weeks. Uh, Steam DB reports that Dragon Age to Fail Guard has moved up the charts but, not, charts, but not significantly. The game currently sits at 57th position in Steam's top sellers. And it's just inside the top 30 on the most wish listed upcoming Steam games in 28th position. In a little less than a month, the game uh, was just 38th on Steam DB's most up with blah, blah, blah uh, and 80th in top sellers. And that was on September 20th. Black Dragon Mage. <laughs> of note, many of the games that were ahead of an almost wish list. Um, most wishlisted upcoming Steam games list have indeed come out, such as Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, uh, Metaphor, uh, Throne in Liberty, God of War Ragnarok, The Winter Forever, and Silent Hill 2. So the game's movement to from 38th to 28th is likely because the game, yeah, pretty much have, they've already come out. Uh, in fact, as noted above, the game only saw an increase of just 1887 more followers in just the last seven days. What you looking at, Roxas? What you looking at, Bub? What are you looking at? Oh, yeah, you're looking at what? Something in the yard? What is it, Bubba? He's like, nothing, Grandpa. You wouldn't understand. No one understands me, Grandpa. Uh, it has only seen an increase in just 6,100 since September 20th. And that's what the game's going to do. It's going to blow. Not only does it appear... <clears throat> uh, not only does it not appear to be tracking well, but a couple of aforementioned games that were ahead of it are finding fantastic success on Steam and will clearly compete with it, even though, uh, even though they might not be the same genre. <clears throat> So Metaphor uh, Re Fantasio hits an all-time peak of 85,000. Wow. Uh, concurrent players in just a couple of days after its release. Wow. Those are big PP numbers. Some of the biggest PP numbers I've ever seen. Um, Atlas also announced that the game has sold over 1 million copies um, in just the first day as well. Wow. That's crazy. It revealed that it was the fastest selling Atlas title. Put into context, Atlas developed Persona 5. Yeah, Persona, like the Persona series, incredibly popular. Incredibly popular. And this sold 1 million copies in the first day. That's insane. That's insane in the membrane. Insane. It got no brain. Exactly what is the game, though? Like, I was. I was going to look it up, but I was like, eh, let me, no, let me wait till I'm done. Um, 1 million units sold. I'm guessing that's a character from it. Uh, Dragon Ball Sparky, look at this number. Look at these numbers. Sparking Zero hit a peak concurrent of tw uh, 122,000 on its official release date after hitting over 91,000 while it was in early access. That's insane. Again, like this game, it's incredibly good. It, it goes back to like Tenkaichi 2's formula, or Tenkaichi 2 and 3. 
Um, you can apparently make your own like scenarios. <laughs> People have been doing the Kaba versus uh, Gogeta because like, oh yeah, Kaba would Kaba would destroy Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. Um, so people were, you know, there's one where you play as Kaba, and then there's another one where you play as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But you can make your own little scenarios. Um, there's the what-if scenarios, like uh, Gohan Black, which is, looks really cool. Uh, what if uh, Vegeta went Super Saiyan while on planet Namek? Uh, really, really cool stuff, like Goku. Like, what if Goku defeated Cell in his first form? Just really cool story changes that kind of make, you know, stuff that people kind of theorize about. You see, like, Saiyan Scholar and other YouTubers kind of, like, make these what-if scenarios. Like, oh, what if Vegeta had done this? Or what if Goku had defeated this person that, you know, and here we are kind of seeing them kind of play out. Um, which is really, really cool. So people are really enjoying the game. Really enjoying the game, obviously. And rightly so, it's a, it's, you know, furthermore, previous rumors from the retail sources indicated the pre-orders for the game are paltry. YouTuber Dr. Disaster reported that his friend, it, yeah, we read that about the piss poor. Um, and he said, it's, yeah, it's just not good. About the dark and gritty, it's supposed to be dark and gritty, but it looks completely soft. Like, all the other Dragon Age games, like, their faces and everything have texture to it. They look, you know, what they're supposed to. These just look like clay. Like, they're all smooth, and it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. Um, Greg Skidimus, uh, who owns the, and hosts the Side Scrollers podcast, uh, shared that his retail source who manages, yeah, we read this as well, about Echoes of Wisdom. By nearly 20 times. Pre-orders got outsold by Echoes of Wisdom. Same thing. Echoes of Wisdom. Really good game. Really good game. You know, it's a top-down. Well, more of a top-down. Uh, it takes what people love about the Legend of Zelda series and doesn't really change much. You know, except, you know, you're playing as Zelda, which is great. You know, we've wanted to play Zelda as Zelda because it is the Legend of Zelda. So being able to have her as a playable character for once um her not being a sword swinger you know a warrior like link instead she uses her magic and or um you know more of wisdom uh to to you know through obstacles or or you know dungeons um but she can take on the form of link through the, his spirit um but it's only a temporary thing you got the magic bar that drains and but it's a really good game. It's a really good game. You know, a bunch of, the, you have the main quest, you have a bunch of side quests, you have all these monsters and other echoes that you can collect and, you know, solving uh, different puzzles. And I mean, I hope it has like a DLC because that would suck if that was just like all you're getting. But most games nowadays have some kind of DLC. And I seriously doubt that this game won't be getting some kind. Um, and I hope it I hope it does because it looks like a really really everyone I've seen play it is like yeah it's a really good game. So furthermore the source shared that Echoes of Wisdom actually sold out after it was released and Nintendo was very pleased that the game sales and sees it as better than expected. Um what do you make of the rent? yeah <laughs> I'm surprised it's not you know like 80th or something but it just shows no one is interested in this game. Other, if they were interested, they'd be pre-ordering. They would be putting on the wish list. Or, but no one's interested. No one, and it's gonna, it's gonna take more than just all the racists and the uh, right-wing bigots to to make the game fail. And that's what they don't seem to understand. It's not just coming from the right. It's coming from their side too. People are just tired of subpar product. It, it's not that hard to grasp. It's really, really not. But, you know, just simple things like customization. You know, you, they, they go into this whole, oh, well, we want you, you, we want the player to feel like they're in the game. We want them to feel represented. And, but yet, for people who are biological females, 
you know, they have a lot of options that are just not there. They're catering more to the trans non-binary group than they are to biological women. And biological women who might want this game is like, well, I don't feel represented. I feel like this game is clearly catering to a certain group of people and I don't want to play it. So, yeah, it's going to take more than just right-wing bigots to, to make the game fail. So, obviously, people just, they're not interested. And when the game comes out and it fails, they're going to be like, oh, all these Donald Trump supporters, these Donald Trump supporters, these right-wing bigots, these phobes, it's and isms, you just hate people of color and, and, and women. And it's just, yeah, the, 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 shut the fuck up. Just the same freaking thing over and over and over and over and over. Instead of just admitting that you're making a crap game, just blame everyone else. I mean, it's worked so great since, what, 2016 when this whole thing started? Coming out and blaming the fans and the viewers? It's worked great so far. I'm sure it'll pay off this time. It all started with that freaking crappy uh, Ghostbusters movie. And everyone, every every year, every single time something comes out in that year, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You're just a bunch of phobes, it's an ism. Oh no, why did our product fail? You're just a bunch of phobes, it's an ism. So, but they don't care. They don't care. They, the veil guard. They're hiding behind the veil of you know, phobes, and isms. They don't need to face anything anymore because they've got that shield up like, oh, just deflect everything with your this, that, and that. They don't have to take any responsibility. If their product fails, it's not because of the people working on that product. It's because of you, the viewer, the fan, the gamer, the consumer, whatever. It's your fault. It's your fault. But, hey, what do we know? But anyway, yeah, I'm not surprised. Not surprised at all. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.